Hi, I'm Will. And I'm Risa, and this is Talent Talk. On today's show, we have country artist extraordinaire, Ben Gallagher. Before we get to our interview with him, you have to take a sneak peek at his latest single, Every Small Town. There's a girl and a guy in a truck Cruising up and down Main Street Windows down, music cranked Hit the Sonic for a drink Crash the party at the riverbank Some things never change There's a field full of corn Some farmer shed his blood, sweat and tears for just like his daddy did, pass it down to his kids Yeah, that's just how it is In every small town in America We're the backbone We're the rock this country was built on We're the underdog We're the little guy With the flag flying high 365 With the wake up with the sun Go and get the job done Welcome to the latest edition of Town Talk. I am Will Nunziata, joined by my co-host and better half, Risa Binder. And I am so excited that we have the acclaimed country artist, Ben Gallagher. Ben, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. What's up, guys? Ben, the audience and us just got an amazing, amazing sneak peek at your latest single, Every Small Town. And before we get started in talking about that, I know the amazing Risa has question number one. Risa, take it away. Thanks. Ben, I think you're incredible. You know that. And we've never really sat and talked about like the beginnings. My first question is, you're such an incredible player and songwriter. Are you, are you self-taught? Well, thank you so much. <laughs> um, I started playing guitar when I was six and I did have a couple lessons early on. Um, just a handful. And then from then on was pretty much just self-taught um, by ear. But I, but I did have a couple lessons early on. <laughs> That's so incredible, guys. I cannot wait for you to hear um, him play. And I know, Will, you had the next question. Yeah, Ben, you know, I'm so interested in, you know, what you do, because there's such a beautiful authenticity to your artistry. But at the same time, as I told you off camera, I feel like this 90s country nostalgia, when country was truly country. And you are absolutely right, Ben, when you say that country music is the soundtrack to everyday life. You have a relatability factor to you as well. I think a lot of people can relate to your story and I wanna let the audience know for more on you. They can read more about you right below this video, but I wanna lean into when you move to Nashville and your time at Belmont University. You, my friend, very early on, began to learn both the show side of country in the music world and the business side. On the business front, you studied entertainment industry studies, but then on the show front, you began really your first knack professionally or in front of live audience adults in a prison, in a prison. Tell me about that experience and how that helped laid a foundation for you as an artist in your early years in Nashville. Yeah, definitely, man. Um, so it was 2011, uh, which that was the year that, um, that I moved to Nashville and a friend of mine and a fan, uh, he worked at one of the Pennsylvania state prisons. And he said, hey, we're thinking about doing something different this year. Um, you ever think about coming in and playing for the inmates? And I said, hell no, I ain't never, <laughs> I never thought about that. But it reminded me of Johnny Cash. And so I was like, man, definitely. Um, I was 19 um, and I just did one that year. And it's about 250 inmates. Um, and this is in the gymnasium and it's solo acoustic. So I'm in like center court um, and they're in bleachers. And it went over so good. I mean, you could you could hear a pin drop in there. 
and the connection was just unreal um and it kind of spread naturally to the other state prisons in pennsylvania so i was getting phone calls um about coming to the other one so i made a tour of it um so 10 years later um last year was was 10 wow. years of doing it and um i had to do it virtual um obviously because we couldn't we couldn't go in um, but the impact, um, for me, the reason I keep going back to do it is the impact that if I can have a chance to, um, bring some positivity to somebody, um, through music, I'm going to do it every time. Um, I mean, I could tell you stories till I'm blue in the face about it in there, but like one, um, a guy came up after the show and I get a chance to talk to a couple of them on the way out. And he said, man, I, I don't even like country music, but after hearing your songs in that set, you changed my whole outlook on life. And you gave me a sense of positivity and hope. And I'm getting out of here in a couple of weeks after 30 years. And you make me want to be a better person and chase my dreams. And so when you hear that, I mean, it just stops you dead in your tracks. I mean, it just goes to, it goes to show you that you know, music is so universal, really, regardless of where you're at in life and regardless of the venue um, or the, the audience, um, it can it can really speak to anyone and everybody. So that's the that's the reason I keep going back and doing it. Um, but yeah, man. Can I ask, I have to piggyback on how incredible you are for doing that. And I need to ask you from a performer perspective, does that put everything else in your life like in perspective too? Because doesn't that make the climb of your career like it almost doesn't even matter because in that moment you're doing exactly what you feel you're supposed to be doing, that connection. I'm just curious if you feel that way when you're in there. Yeah, no doubt. Um, I mean, those shows are different than any other show um but they're also the same in terms of the music speaks um whether i'm playing a, a cover song um that everybody knows and they're all singing along and um or or an original but they're also different in the term in the sense of um just the setting that you're in um you know it's definitely a captive audience yeah. uh and you can hear a pin drop in there. And then when you see, and Risa, you know, um, I'm playing, like when you see an audience latch onto a lyric and you're seeing it firsthand, that's the power of it. I mean, nothing, nothing beats that. Nothing. <laughs> and that's incredible. And also I'm thinking about when you mentioned the likes of Johnny Cash, but there are also so many other musicians that I'm sure you've been compared to, especially with not only your amazing singing and songwriting, but your amazing guitar playing. You know, I know that you've been called in the circles of Nashville and beyond, you know, the next great Eric Clapton. Um, uh, to have all of these heroes. Isn't that incredible, yes. I don't know about that, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ben, I mean, similar to The Inmate, not the hugest country fan over here. However, that Inmate was correct. You have a universality to not only your singing and your songwriting and your guitar playing, but I feel like with your background and how you brought up with the values that you did, you've always rooted for the every man oh, and every right. woman. <laughs> and I see in you a vibration of the every man. And that's stark quality, my friend. I, I say that as a director, but I also say that as a human, like there's no, there's actually no air about you. You are truly a vessel. And Risa knows I go on my soapbox, so I'm going to step off of it. And Risa, you have a next question before I keep talking, because I've had two weeks to bottle up my love of this incredible <laughs> artist. Ben. Oh, you're, too, you're too kind. I Isn't say it awesome? like it is. I'm from New York. <laughs> it's true. Ben, I just want to know, like, you know, the sky is the limit. And I know that anything you put your heart into, you will do like tenfold so like kind of what is your next six months to a year look like let us know and let us know like how we can follow you on your journey no i appreciate that um we're going to country radio at the end of the month for uh every small town first yeah. single, <laughs> first single um 
I've been in Nashville for 10 years, so it's 10 year town. First single, it's, it's an exciting time. Um, and we're in the middle of making, making my first record. Um, so the EP's out, but we're, we're finishing it up and in the studio right now doing the guitars and vocals. So that's what the, the next six months is going to be finishing up the record. Woo, I have chills for you. I'm so excited for you. Guys. Oh, thank so you. Excited for you. And also with every small town, talk a little bit about how that idea came about. Yeah, definitely. Every small town is, is really a song about the American spirit. Um, it's a song about being proud of who you are and where you're from, no matter where you're from. Um, I mean, if you're not from a small town, um, you, you don't have to be from a small town to relate to that because it's about community, really. And we wrote that song in like 2016. I love and that. Yeah, I mean, I wrote it with Jim Collins and Ash Bowers and... I was touring the Midwest really heavily at that time. And we were playing in a lot of small towns and passing through them. So I think that's where the inspiration came from originally. Um, I'm from a small town too. I mean, not one stoplight small, um, but it, smaller town. And so it's definitely a reflection of, um, of how I was raised and, and how I was brought up, but also just a song about community, really. That's incredible, Ben. Well, listen, we have so many more questions yet to ask that we won't get to today, but I know there's one question in particular that both Risa and me have agreed that we have been waiting all of these last 11 minutes to ask you. <laughs> ben, can I'm, we ask I'm you dying to hear now. <laughs> ben Gallagher, are you ready for game time? Oh, born ready. <laughs> Well, Ben, today is your lucky day because this is the premiere of a new game that we like to call here at Talent Talk, Riff That Riff. Well, this is how the game is going to go. Ben, you are going to, with your extraordinary guitar playing, make up on the spot three five-second guitar riffs. One at a time, Risa, then me, then Risa, will try to, in 30 seconds, to your thumbs up and approval, try and imitate vocally your guitar riff. And Ben, we don't move on from one person to another until we get that thumbs up. And in 30 seconds, if we win, there might be a prize for you at the end of this rainbow. Ben and Risa, you are up first. Ben, go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it? Yeah! Oh man, barrel burnum from from Padano, 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 from from Padano, Padano. Is that all right? Really? <laughs> you done got it. Now, Ben, you didn't know that because Risa and I won your game in your approval, you, my friend, are going to be getting a little $20 Venmo to whatever you want, a coffee shop of your choice, a drink of your choice, a dinner of your Dang. choice, whatever. <laughs> Do you have a favorite restaurant in Nashville? Ah, oh, probably Peg Leg Porker. It's That's about the one. best barbecue in town. Risa, how about it? Oh, so good, so, so good. I agree. <laughs> I love it. Well, Ben, before we head out, Will you please play us a little bit of your brand new hit single, Every Small Town? You got it. Yes. Ben, and before you go, on behalf of both Reese and myself and everyone in the presenters at Talent Talk, thank you so much for joining us today and gracing us with your talent, your spirit, and your light.
No, thank you guys. It's a pleasure and an honor for me to be on here. So thanks for taking the time and hanging. A piece of every small town for you. There's a girl and a guy in a truck cruising up and down Main Street. Windows down, music cranked, hit the Sonic for a drink, crashed the party at the riverbank. Some things never change. There's a field full of corn. Some farmer shed his blood, sweat and tears for just like his daddy did, pass it down to his kids. Yeah, that's just how it is in every small town in America. We're the backbone. We're the rock this country was built on. We're the underdog. We're the little guy. We're the flag flying I 365. But when the wake up with the sun, go and get the job done. Cold beer crowd in every small town in America. Thank you.